spreadsheet and a couple of people asked me if I could let you know and show you exactly how, walk you through exactly how to get that and how I use it. So I'm happy to do that. Um, so here's the original email. This went out if you were on the Creativity Lab uh, group of the mailing list. Um, you can update your preferences at the end of any email I send you and uh, get yourself on that group. It, it's a group where I send out tools like this and uh, anything cool I hear about from other people. So here is, uh, I'm, I'm going to include some information at the end of this video as to how you can get on, uh, how you can either get on that list or how you can get hold of this log anyway. So here's what we have. This is the log I used to, to track my writing and it helped keep me accountable because I set a goal of writing 10,000 words of fiction every month and every, uh, I didn't do so well every day, but every month last year I mostly hit my target. Um, and I got to almost, I got to around 100,000 words of fiction last year, finished one novel, made really good progress on a second one. And just having um, a record of all of that and a target every month really, really helped. So I decided I would share my log with you and I've, as I say, I have uploaded it to the Google Drive. So this is what it looks like, it kind of looks like this. Um, I sent this email out. You can right click on the, any of the links and let's go ahead and open that in new tab. See if it's going to take, there we go. And it takes you to this Google document. This is the original Google document. Um, if you try and save this and edit it, you're going to get an error message and you're going to email me saying, I can't access the document and I'm going to email you back and say, no, 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 you have to make a copy of it. So the first thing you need to do is you need, if you want to save a copy of this for your own use, you need to be logged into your Google account if you have one. If you don't have one, you can get one for free. If you don't want one, you can still have this document by going in here, download as, and you can download it to your hard drive uh, in your choice of pref preferred file. If you want to use it, you're going to need, to need it to be something like Microsoft Excel or um, Open Documents. If you just want to print it out and write on it handwritten, you can have it as a PDF, but you'll miss out on some of the functionality. But still, you'll get you'll get the the um, kind of the logs. So here we have uh, my instructions that I wrote. Try to make it very user friendly. I'm not really a spreadsheet person myself. I'm very proud of myself that I managed to put this together uh, and um, steal a few tricks from other people to get, make this happen. I've been refining it over a couple of years. So the first thing you need to do is either save it to your hard drive, like I just showed you, or Go in here, make a copy. You can enter a new name for it, and this is going to save it to your Google Drive. So you can make a copy of it, say my writing log, Jane's writing log, Bob's writing log, whatever. Click OK, and it will uh, save a copy to your Google Drive. I'm not going to do that right now because I've got several copies of it and don't want to confuse myself. So now you've done that, I would close this and then go into Google Drive. I've got a little link up here on my, my bar. Um, go to Google Drive, it's just uh, drive.google.com and you'll see a list of files. Find the one that you just saved and open it up and you'll be back in this kind of, in this kind of view. So what I've done with this spreadsheet is I have laid out the days of the month over here. This is my um, sample one, so it's not got anything in it. Uh, here, we've got today's date, how many words you wrote today. This is really B, the B column is really the only column that you need to worry about. It's the only one you ever need to type in. That's why it's nicely highlighted. Uh, it's going to then calculate for you how many words you've written every month. This here is your goal for the month. I've set mine at 10,000. If you want to write less than that, you know you've got a big month coming up, you don't want to be depressed, do that. It changes all the totals. It works out for you how many words you need to write every day. And this changes, right? Because it's assuming that I've written, if I've written no words on the 1st of January, then to meet my goal at the end of the month, I, on January the 2nd and every day thereafter, I would need to write 167 words. If I wrote nothing on the first two days of the month, get to January the 3rd, it tells me that every day this month I need to write at least 172 words to meet my goal of 5,000. I'm going to change this back to 10,000. This, this 
um, cell here, D2, is really the only other one, apart from the B column, that you need to worry about. Everything else should just automatically fill in up to here. So now I'm changing that back, and so you can see the totals in the average remaining daily have changed again. If I write every single day this month, if I write 323 words every single day of January, I will reach 10,000 by the end of the month. If I slack off for the entire first week of January, then every day I'm going to have to write 370 words. That's manageable, right? So here's what my real writing log looks like. I did slack off for the first week of the month. Uh, month. I did not write anything, and I forced myself on the 9th to work on my, my uh, fiction writing. So by the time I got to the 9th, it's telling me that I need to write 417 words a day to make my 10,000 word goal. 417 words is fairly manageable, right? So I exceeded that on the 9th and got this lovely little, yay, good for you, green uh, green box telling me that I've, I've done well. The next day not so well, the next day not so well. This day I wrote something. I didn't reach this 323 word threshold, so I didn't get my little congratulatory green box. Here not so good, here not so good. Yes, we're getting somewhere now. But I still, I'm, I'm still getting the green box because I'm still, I want to reward myself, right? I, it is much, it's much more encouraging to get a little pat on the back than to get yelled at, especially when you have done something good. Like I've written 477 words. It's something. It's more than my daily average goal at the beginning of the month. So I let the spreadsheet give us a little pat on the back here. It turns the cell green, we feel good about ourselves. Yay, we come back and write tomorrow. I did not reach the threshold for um, average daily word count to get to 10,000, but that's okay because I know the next day I'm probably gonna write more. Because usually when you sit down and if you can write the minimum in this E column here, um, you can usually write a bit more this day being the exception. Um, so the next day I wrote, I sat down and I wrote 1,400, the next day I wrote almost 2,000, the next day 1,200, and you can see my average remaining is going down here. So if I kept up this pace, I would have been, you know, only having to write 400 words a day till the end of the month. Unfortunately, I slacked off again, and here I am on the 24th, I need to write 600 words a day to get to the end of the month. But that's manageable, right? That's still manageable. Even if I kind of slack off right until the 29th, 1,600 words a day for three days will get me to my goal. This is why I do this. It's encouraging. We have a little, a little bit of um, a manageable goal to get to. I know that fiction is not my day job, right? I, this is something I do, and it has to fit in around all the other things I want to, that I do in my life, but I want to make this a priority. So this is the thing that keeps me accountable, it keeps me aware of what I'm doing, and it's realistic. Like I know that, I don't feel like I wrote very much, but I know that I had these four days here where I really pushed hard and I, I got some, I really advanced the story. I'm just looking at those numbers, I'm like, yeah, I remember that. That was when I wrote that thing, and I took the, the story over this hump and it felt really good. So that's how the spreadsheet works to tell you, this is my total for the month. It's been adding up nice and nice and uh, slowly. It automatically pops into this, count, this uh, cell up here so you can keep track. If I am a good little writer and do all my words, this number here will turn to a 10,000 I've met my goal. This cell I love as well because every all throughout the year, it's going to update you on how much you've written every month. It's going to add January's total to February's total to December's total, which is why when I got to the end of the year, I could see that this number was so close. If I'd been paying attention, I would have pushed it over, but it was like inches away from the 10,000, uh, from the 100,000 mark. So you'll get a nice little boost as you go through the year and you'll see how much you've written. Now, what I could have done in here, what I've done as well like this year, I've, I've included a project log. So I've got two things going on. I've got a project called Whole Heads and I've got my Story A Day blog. The only two projects I've put in here. I did not do this. This is new for this for this year. I was keeping this log purely as a fiction log before. But this year I've put a project list in. In case you've got different things, in case you are a seasoned logger and want to keep track of different projects and see how many words you've written on each project, then 
just number the projects. Um, so you can see I haven't logged any days writing for the blog. I, I'm not bothered to track that this year, but if I was, I could have said, you know, I wrote 1,200 words here for the blog and put a number two in here. So I, I know that all of this writing that I've done has been on the Whole Heads project, which is a fiction project. This is completely optional. You can ignore this column. You can use it entirely up to you. I could have used this column here to say I was writing the the bit about when she wakes up, just to give myself a little reminder. Um, and then at the end of the month, I will see where I am, and I'll be able to go along to the story a day um, accountability group, which there's a, a blog post every first of the month at storyaday.org called Swagger, Serious Writers Accountability Group. We're not really serious. We're serious, but we're not somber. And we check in there, comment in the, the comments below the blog post, and everybody says what they've been up to, what they're going to do next month, uh, has a little moan, has a little cheer, and everybody uh, encourages everyone else to keep going. So at the end of this month, I'm going to be able to look at it and go, either I... I'm going to report in and say, yeah, you know what, I missed my 10,000 fiction word goal this month. Or I'm going to say, yeah, I exceeded my 10,000 word fiction goal this month. And um, and that'll feel really good. But it's really easy to see what I'm doing. Down here, just change tabs. As the month goes on, you'll see that this year is a leap year. So I've added 29 days in February. This has recalculated 10,000 words divided by 29. So in February, unlike January... It said I had to write on the first of the month. It said I had to write um, 323 words a day to get to 10,000. In February, it's a shorter month, I'm going to have to write 345 words a day on average to get to 10,000 words. Um, March is again there. April is a little shorter, so it's going to be 333 words a day. So it's done all the math for you. And that's how it works all the way through the year. And it's going to keep adding up your year-to-date total. So again, just to recap, when you get here, when you get to the sample file, not this one, this is mine, when you get to the sample writing log, save a copy. You can either save it to your hard drive, download as Microsoft Excel, open document format, or if you have a Google account, say you use Gmail or you've ever used Gmail, you've ever signed up for um, Google Drive, uh, Google Docs, any of those things, Google Plus, you'll have a Google account. Um, remembering your account and logging into it may be the hardest part of this. So you would make a copy, rename it, because uh, this is automatically going to save as copy of sample writing log. Now you can call it that if you like, or you can call it Heather's writing log 2016. Then to uh, find it again, you go to Drive, google.com. Oh, you get a little look inside my drive here. Look at this. Oh, and you will see here, you can look at recent documents. You can look at um, different types of documents. So here is my writing log. You just click on that to open it and you'll find yourself in your renamed project. Go to the tab for the month and away you go. Now what I do to make, a, make this even more friction-free little uh, power user tip here. I have a shortcut up here that I created. Um, and I, It's not that I'm lazy actually, it's that I know that any little thing that gets in the way of something, um, something routine, every, any little thing that gets in the way will make me not do it. So I create a very easy link, so I go, all I do is go every day, I plug in my, my word count and we're done. Okay, so I have a little confession to make. I have discovered an error in the sample log that I sent out at the beginning of the month. It's in the January tab. It's right here on line 18 in column C. This little thing up here in your version of it, that says 21, so it's adding up the wrong cells. You can either fix this error yourself by clicking on column C, row 18 in the January tab, changing this 21 to an 18 and that fixes it. You'll notice that my numbers weren't adding up before and now they are. That was because there was an error in there so I apologize for that. You can either go into that so it was C18 and change that second number to 18. It was originally 21 or 
you can go, if you haven't been using the log yet or if you haven't put much data in, you don't mind downloading a new, a new fresh version. All the other tabs are fine. Um, you can go and download yourself a new copy of this spreadsheet. So apologies for that. Um, or you can manually change that number, you know, if you're if you're comfortable with that, just add add these two together. Um, that was just causing a little discrepancy with the total for the month, so apologies for that. So again, C18 needs to be changed to this sum, so C17 plus B18, and then you'll be good to go. So again, I'm going to provide a link that you can go to to get a copy of this log if you haven't already done so. And I wish you joy with it. If you have any questions, let me know. If this is way too complicated for you, if it's just too much information, don't let it hold you up. Just write. Scribble down your word counts on a piece of paper. Uh, write it in your journal. Log it on a blog. I just highly recommend that you set a goal and make it reasonable, make it realistic, except in May when we're going to set this outrageous writing, writing a story a day goal, okay? The rest of the year, set yourself a reasonable, manageable, achievable goal. Give yourself gold stars, give yourself pats, pats on the back when you manage to reach it, and just keep writing. What we do consistently is much more powerful than what we do once in a while. So keep writing. And uh, let me know, julie at storyaday.org, if you have any questions or comments. And do come back to the site on the first of every month for the accountability group, the swagger group. And uh, let us know what you've been up to. Let us know what you're planning to do next month. Let us cheer you on. Have a great day. Keep writing.